Hello everyone, welcome to Big Daddy's Talks by the Fire. And on today's episode, we are going to do a couple of reviews of products that I had bought to do some of my winter honey to-do lists. And the first product we have today that I just received is our new fence charger. This fence charger is made by Power Wizard. It's the PW1800 and this puts out 18 joules of animal shock and power so we can contain our wild animals. And so we're gonna do a quick unboxing and let's see what we got. So this box, uh, when it was shipped, it was shipped in another box with foam, but uh, this is basically what you know, if you want to buy it somewhere at a home, they're not a home center, but an agricultural center. This is what you would have it in. It's plastic, which is typical to most of these. Uh, you got instructions and you got warranty. Uh, I do like to say that I like the warranty on this. It has a three year warranty. And uh, like I said, this is uh, 18 joules. It's good for 300 miles of fence and uh, 1800 acres but that's all a relative term because if you use any type of poly rope or anything like that with multiple conductors you got to take an account of those multiple conductors so you could have a hundred foot fence wire rope but if you got three conductors that's 300 feet of fence it's not 100 feet so just keep that in mind when uh, you guys are looking at chargers. Um, has very sturdy knobs. That should be good for tying on the fence and the ground wire. And it also has a high and low switch. So if we got little babies, we can keep it down a little bit. Or our wild Moo Moo, we can put it on the full 1800 joules of Moo Moo shock and power. So, seems to be a steady case, sturdy case. Uh, it does have some adjustable mounting so you can raise it up and down a little bit uh, so you can either you know put it on and set it down or extend those up however you need to mount this um, it also has a bottom hole here to secure also um, it also came with some screws so we're going to give this a try uh, once I do my second product uh, I will take you over to the workbench and we'll see what kind of voltage we're getting out of this. Uh, I'm real excited about using this because our other one is kind of getting pretty weak. So we've had some animal escape issues. So we would really like to try to do it, not only to keep our animals safe, but also to keep the bad animals out. The second product we're gonna review is uh, made by the same company, Power Wizard. Uh, it's made by Actronics, Ag but uh, the brand name is Power Wizard. And this is the Primo Nitro Wire. This thing has nine conductors. So it's got six stainless steel conductors plus three copper conductors for super shocking power. Um, I took the end of it and took a look at it. And what it looks like is this wire has three different braided nylon wires and then each braid has th uh, two stainless steel conductors and one copper so that would be your total six stainless steel and three coated copper wires now this thing uh, claims that uh, it's uh, 30 times more shocking power than the uh, competitor but we'll find out we'll find out when the animals test it uh, the, the good thing is is this nylon has UV inhibitors that will hopefully make it last longer being on the outside and being susceptible to uh, Sun UV rays so hopefully this lasts uh, our other wire that we have on our reels for our, our rotational grazing um, it was cheap uh, even the reviews, I knew what I was getting into, that I was going to have to replace it. So 
I'm thinking this is going to be a real good uh, alternative, but uh, we'll give it a try and see. Um, the other one that we have on now only has three conductors, and I got so many splices in that from the animals breaking it. Uh, so hopefully with a combination of this wire and the Power Wizard uh, fence charger, hopefully we will have a good containment system for our animals out on the pasture. Now, uh, I plan on, if this works out well, uh, plan on purchasing more of this um, to fill our reels for our rotational grazing. Uh, and then, right now, this is going to go around kind of our semi-permanent that's around the all the stalls right now that we have. Uh, eventually, when we get the fence done this uh, spring, uh, we won't have that because we're going to have two separate pastures with a run down the middle and then the rotational grazing would be divided on each side. So we'll see how that works. Uh, just as a disclaimer, uh, we're not sponsored by Power Wizard at all. Uh, I just liked what I read about the product and wanted to give a fair review. Uh, I'm sure if you've looked at uh, getting fence wire and stuff, you've seen this brand name come up. Um, all kinds of suppliers carry you know this, they carry Zeriba, they carry a bunch of different others, but uh, I really liked the specs on this, so we'll see how it goes. And it, will, it doesn't break the bank. This charger is very affordable. And I've seen a few small reviews of um, this product on YouTube, and everybody seems to like it. So for the money to get 18 joules of shock and power, I think it's a pretty good deal. So let me get you to the test bench, and we'll see what kind of voltage we get out of this charger. I'm excited. I love shock and power. Okay guys, here we are at the bench. Uh, right here is the toggle switch I was talking about for high and low. Basically half power and full power. I have two different testers. I got a typical LED tester that shows the voltage. And then I also have a LED digital that we will use to test. So here we go. We're going to plug it in. Well, first I'm going to remove these caps first. Gain access to the electrodes. Oh, I hear some action. Here we go. You know what? I'm going to move this just a little forward so you guys can see the tester. So there we go. So this is flashing all the way up to 7,000 volts. Uh, all the LEDs are flashing. So let's uh, turn it on high and see what it does. And that just goes brighter. So this is saying 7,000 volts. Let's check out our digital. Well, it's over 7,000. It's peaked out. That's all it says. So let's go back to low. Let's go with our digital meter here. All right, this is saying a little bit over 6,000 volts for half power. Now let's go full power. Oh, I gotta reset this. It's almost 9,000 volts. See if you can see that in the get the there you go. So this should give us plenty. Our current fence charger is really only producing about three thousand volts. So 
There might be a capacitor or something wrong with it. Not for sure. But uh, it's time to replace it. Uh, I don't know how long it's been here on the farm. It was here before we were. So who knows how old that unit is. But uh, we're excited about trying this unit out and seeing how it works. And what I plan on doing is, as you know, well, it, maybe you don't know, um, the snow doesn't give you a good ground. So a lot of times in fences, you need a ground wire that is ran with the fencing, a fencing wire that gets grounded to ground to provide the shock. So you have the complete path to shock the animals. But uh, we're gonna try it as is, see what we get. And then if I have to, I'm gonna run a couple of ground wires in between our hot lines and that'll help ground the animal to complete the circuit to make them learn not to get close to the fence. Okay, well, when I get this installed, we'll uh, continue this video and we'll see what kind of power we get when we put it in there. All right. Okay, guys, this is our original system here. It's a uh, red snapper charger. It's broken down to three different circuits that go up along our uh, stalls out there. And so we can have three independent uh, paddocks and we can operate the switch here without shutting down the whole thing um, which right now we got to shut off because we don't have no animals out there but uh, so I'm gonna get working on getting this dismounted and getting the other one mounted and I'll be right back with you mm. all right guys we got this finally installed well, it only took a few minutes we got it temporary I got uh, little bit of wire dressing up to do but we'll do that up later uh, I really wanted to see what this thing would do uh, let me disconnect the nice switches now let's give her a test all right ground so on low power we got uh, 7,000 volts. And on the high side, we got 10,500 volts. So that's good. All right. Let's uh, switch it back to low. And let's put the the fence wire in line here. Let's see what we got. Make sure we didn't have any drawdown. Seven thousand eight hundred volts on the uh, low side. We got eleven thousand volts on the high side. So. We got ourselves a hot little mama there. All right, well let's uh, let's take this thing out. Let's see, we'll go low power. Well, let's take this thing. We'll take this thing out and we'll test it outside, actually on the fence, and just see if we need any type of grounding conductor riding along with the fence wire. Um, to see what kind of uh, shock we get out there. All right, stand by. I gotta re redo the camera here. Okay guys, let's get this thing a try. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not, but we'll see. Stick this down here as far as we can get it. Oh, let's see what we got. We got 7,700 voltage. All right. Seven six. Seven five. So that's just on the low setting. We got over 7,000 volts on the low setting. All right, let me turn on the high setting and see what we get. Okay, guys. We got it turned up on high now. Let's see what we got. Oh, losing my balance. We're 
getting to right at 10,000 volts. So I think I'm gonna call this a winner. All right, let's get out of this cold. All right, guys. Well, I think this is gonna be a winner. So I'm very happy with uh, the way everything's turning out so far. I haven't made any modifications, and this has well exceeded my expectations. Uh, that other charge that we had up here, it was only putting out 3,000 volts, and with the snow on the ground as it is, uh, when I measured it, I couldn't even get a reading. So this definitely is going to be the ticket for our animals, not only to keep them safe, but to keep them in. Keep bad animals out, and uh, I'm happy. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that uh, I did get this off of eBay. Now there's Tractor Supply has it, uh, Amazon has it. There's all kinds of uh, agricultural supply stores that have it. I found a good deal. Uh, I paid uh, two hundred and seventy dollars for it, and it, it was a very excellent deal. Most of the places are going for. 350 somewhere in there and I found and it was brand new in the package and they had several of them uh, So you know you guys just shop around if this is something you're interested in uh, I'm really happy about it uh, 18 jewels is Exceed I think that one over there is only like One jewel or something like that. So this is like 18 times more powerful than what we've had so this should take care of all of our electrical needs that we need and uh, Let's go inside the house All right, guys, we're gonna wrap this up. I uh, hope you enjoyed the product review. Uh, we're excited about using these products. Uh, and we'll see how the longevity of these uh, products will last. Uh, we'll give you another update, uh, maybe towards the uh, end of summer. And I'll let you, let you know how it held up and how the animals were kept in their pens. So if you guys enjoyed Big Daddy by the Fire, hit the like button the subscribe button, and the bell button, and my wife will greatly appreciate it because a happy go-go mama is a happy big daddy. You guys take care. Everybody be safe and enjoy.